Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got another C-Class Vix Truck Series race for you here. Week 5, Kansas. Tried to get one in earlier, uh, didn't have the best race. Um, got wrecked by somebody on the front stretch and then tried to shoot a gap to get through a wreck and fortunately a truck came down uh, that I was hoping was going to stay high. So. Put me to the back and then got tangled up with somebody else that ultimately ended our day, so didn't want to show you guys that one. Um, hoping that this one will go better. Whatever happens with this one is what you'll get to see. So, starting way in the back. Didn't get a qualifying lap and have had ongoing on and off internet issues uh, that just seemed to randomly pop up. So, was able to at least get that taken care of that we could get into the session, but... Um, Unfortunately, didn't get in quite early enough to try to get a qualifying lap, although not really sure how well I would have done. Um, felt like I had pace to probably run right around the top 10 or so in the first race. Uh, that was somewhat of a decent split for me. Uh, strength available wasn't incredibly high. It looks like we are in probably a middle split now. Um, didn't see how many trucks were total registered for the session, but I'm guessing yeah, probably something like 3 out of 6 Fahrenheit. or so. Uh, we are truck number 2 in this one, so we've really got to finish pretty far up to uh, gain Hello, anything car number 13. out of the it. Car. Um, I think there was 23 in total in it, and I'm guessing we'll probably need to finish inside the top 5 to, to really gain anything worthwhile out of it since we're the number 2 truck. Fortunately, that also means most likely the uh, goal of trying to beat the truck number is not going to happen in this race considering that we take a win and I highly doubt we are going to get the win considering we are starting in 20th but I guess stranger things have happened at times um, I don't know I, I, I think we're going to need basically everybody to wreck in order for us to have a shot at the win and somehow let's not get involved in that and a chances of that happening here seem to be very slim and then the chances of that happening and us getting through it seem to be even slimmer. So just going to try to shoot for a top 10 and see if we get to a top half. At least check off uh, 3 out of the 4. Um, or 2 out of the 4 of improving starting position and going 0x. Restart is going to seem to be real funky. We've got a couple trucks laying way back. So fortunately it's probably going to hurt us on the outside. But we're going to do what we can. Didn't really want to make it 3 wide, but it got a little bit of a better truck to start than 13, so just decided to take it to the high side, try to get around him. Be real cautious off the start. The truck can get really loose through the side of the corner off if you get on it too hard or stay on it too long. Um, and also trying to already get into conservation mode. Um, that's the only way I'm really going to be able to stand anything. Like, I know we're in the back and we need to get by everybody, but trying to save it's the only way that we're going to be able to do it. At least able to avoid the 7 who got loose made contact with the 5 in front. Uh, it was basically just swap positions. 13 was able to get by us after we got by him on the start but um, was able to get by the uh, 7 so moved up a couple spots at least. Obviously a long 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 way to go to get to uh, the top 10 but we're going to do the best we can. We got such a best lap up. Not really going to be running all that fast to laps, just kind of, you know, running half throttle through the quarters and then pick it back up trying to save tires. Running 16 to 1 on the steering ratio, uh, 0 on the offset as I recently has a set and move the brake bias back to 45%. Don't expect to uh, touch the brake bias or touch the brakes really until probably, you know, halfway to three quarters of the way through the run. See if this one has cautions or not. Um, not sure which way I want it to go because if it doesn't have cautions, it's going to come down to Kyra Conservation. Maybe we're starting to get a little bit better at that than some of the guys in the back. We might be able to pick up spots, but might need cautions to not lose all the time to the leaders and uh, have trucks in front of us have problems. So, let's try and do the best we can with what we've got, with what I played myself in. And, uh, yeah, just try to try to make something positive out of it. We got a truck up in the wall up front. Keep an eye on the 16, it looks like. See if he comes down off the wall. He does a pretty good job. Five almost gets into him. 
least we're able to pick up a spot. That shark was actually in fourth. Did not see what happened. Able to get by the five as well, so that's two spots right there. So at least uh, moving our way up from 20th starting spot, trying to trying to do something. We got a long, long way away to go to uh, get up to the 22, up in 14. So it's gonna kind of ride right now. See if we can just basically, you know, stay even with them. If anybody wants to try to get by us right now, I guess you know, I'll let them. In not really fight them. No reason to burn up tires right now this early on when, you know, we're talking about tire conservation, so. Outside. Just don't base, basically just don't want to end up so far behind that even if I do save tires better, I can't, can't gain anything back, but can't let everybody wanting to race five laps into it, six laps into it early on um, affect us either, you know. Kind of decided to go with the strategy, I gotta stick to it and make the most out of it I can. You can see I'm losing time to the trucks up front, but um, you gotta, you know, feel like I'm taking it fairly easy. Five seems like he's crowding us down low a little bit, um, which I guess when he's, you know, running side by side, that's his prerogative, but I'm gonna try to do my best to stay off of him, don't want any contact at all. Don't need the instant points, also don't need any damage or anything that can slow us down, so. We'll try to do the best that we can. I'm sure he's gonna look to our inside, although he's seeming to like that high line a lot more, so. Basically just bringing up the rear. You know, for me a mile and a half is about where we are. We got a caution. We're gonna try to get by buddy on the inside. That's two more spots that we'll be able to pick up. We're under caution. It's closed. Not sure if uh, anybody's gonna go in the pit. I think we should probably stay out rather than burn the set of tires, but we'll see. Yellow pits are open. Try to get 19 by us. There we go, he's coming. So that's at least, you know, a couple trucks that had some issues, so. Um, the leader's pitting now. Looks like everybody's coming in, so I guess we might as well just do the same thing and not try to deviate from strategy this early on. I feel like this Look is a bit the too early limit. for speed limit is tires, but, you know, if everybody's thinking it, then we'll uh, take a shot at it, I guess. Pit stall should be fairly easy to find, at least, because we are way in the back. So, we moved our way up to 14th, um, see where we come off after pit road, see if we can just come out in the same spot. Just gotta ensure we don't get any kind of pit road speeding penalty or anything. There's gonna be some trucks sitting on there with damage most likely, so... We should shake out, hopefully, uh, looks like in 14th, maybe 15th, so... Um, yeah, I feel like I, once I saw every single truck go on the pit road, I feel like I had to do that, otherwise we'd be sitting duck. Especially if the race went green the rest of the way. Um, and then, could easily run the risk of, of getting blown by and or, and or passed, uh, you know, wrecked. I, I know track position is important, but I feel like it was a uh, better call to uh, come and stay on the same sequence as everybody and uh, put ourselves you know, in the same boat to, to end. There's still a lot of laps left, so still conservation, uh, tire conservation that could be important, so Race just gonna try to do the best that we can. We'll be uh, restarting on 12, so we'll have 29 to go. Looks like we're uh, in 12th there at the line, but the truck in 7th was still on pit road. We're back in pit road, so looks like we should actually be uh, restarting 9th. 
were, you know, lined up 12th, but, or sorry, it'll move us up to 11th, so. Yeah, um, able to at least pick up a spot or two, it looks like, on pit road, although I'm guessing that was more or less because of trucks. Um, staying in to, to get damaged 19 yields in front of us came to pit road, so. Guessing that has more to do with that. Um, yeah, just gonna try to do best we can, make make the most out of what we've got. Hopefully we can uh, conserve a little bit. 99, 98 makes me fairly happy, even though it was a fairly short run. Uh, just gonna try to do a little more of that, I think, and, and see if we can try to keep pace with everybody in front of us. Not get run over from behind, but uh, try to try to conserve, but hang on as best we can. Flag. Really, really weird start there. Meter didn't go, seems like, until the green flag, and then everybody kind of just recording behind them. So, inside line did not get the best start. Just gonna try to hang behind the 13 here, see what we can do. See if we can work our way to the front. Watch out for the 22 as he slides down in front of us to go underneath the 18. Just gonna follow everybody right now, kind of. Kind of keep an eye on stuff. We've got some too wide up there, it looks like. We're involved in too wide right now with the 18. We've got the 8 going way low on us. We've got three wide right now, so we're just going to try to live to fight another day, let them go by as last time. That was my problem with not, you know, trying to do that. 8's getting real loose up front. You can see that 22 had an issue. We've got a wreck out back, so. Unfortunately, it was not any trucks in front of us. Um, yeah, looks like we basically uh, kept the same spot that we restarted in, so. Yeah, uh, 8 was pretty aggressive. Um, definitely uh, got to try to keep an eye on, on him going forward, see if he makes any more aggressive moves that could possibly cause a wreck or something. But yeah, he dove down in front of us to the inside of us 22, or uh, excuse me, the 22, the 18 was on the outside, so I just decided to kind of try to hold my ground and hope hope that I made it out okay when they went oh, three wide, so, um, you know, I, I've been reading discussions lately about how aggressive this series has gotten, um, and, you know, to that extent, a lot of the fixed series have gotten really aggressive, uh, shorter races, fixed setups, um, you know, guys are, are are not waiting at all for anything, and they're they're pushing as hard as they can. Whereas, if you get to some of the open ones, uh, when you get to the C class and higher, some of the guys are acting a little more patient. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, I, I I enjoy running this because I'm terrible at driving, and this you know allows me to focus on the driving. And I know I need to be fast at this before I can think about going to an open setup. But our part two is it's it's hard to really learn a ton or gain a ton when you're constantly having to, to watch out for guys that are throwing it three wide or, or making super aggressive moves, um, which that's still going to happen in open series, but it seems like, you know, some people are being a little more careful, a little more cautious, so um, I don't know, I may may end up trying that, we'll see. I mean, I feel like I'm pretty far away from being able to run open setups in these because there's just a lot more a lot more adjustments, a lot more of a different tuning style compared to short track weight models or SK modifieds or tour mods or whatever that I'm used to doing, so let me try to go back to those, build myself back up, try to get a little faster, and uh, see what happens. I guess we'll see what kind of results we get, how the, the I rating and the, the safety rating shake out in it. So, just stuff that I've been reading, kind of kind of concerning for myself. Um, but you know, I, I I do see the merits in that. I've seen a lot of aggressive racing uh, the last couple of weeks, even after after Talladega, uh, Charlotte. Yeah, we had. Truck slamming it three wide on the inside, or, or diving us on the inside of the, the quad oval. We got the eight slamming us inside, right? Not slamming, I should say, but you know, making aggressive moves, diving inside, uh, taking it three wide uh, when we're not even halfway there uh, through the race. So, um, you know, definitely, definitely something to, to consider and think about. So. Looks like a decent amount of trucks have uh, disconnected. I think that's probably two or three that I've seen now. So, um, very possible that at least we shouldn't finish quite as far to the back. Uh, let's check and see how many trucks are, are down. I think two, maybe three. So, I think the first week or two is finished where we started it. Plan is to uh, 
try to improve on where we're at. See if we can get inside the top 10 before the end of the race. Sit in 11th with, uh, which, you know, decently happy with, but, but obviously we'd love to uh, try to get to a top 10 if we can. Um, maybe even, you know, I guess have an outside shot at a top 5 and try to click off three of the goals. But, you know, most important ones for me right now are improving starting position and uh, 0x, which at least right now we've still got both of those going. So those are biggest things for me. I feel like, um, you know, as I'm trying to learn these in, in the fields that I'm running in, that I should be considering top 10s, uh, you know, the equivalent of the faster guys as top 5s that they want to be in that every race. So I want to be in top 10 every race. And then, uh, you know, kind of consider top 5s right now wins and, and just wins is, you know, not something that's realistically going to happen or, you know, it, it's going to be an incredible long shot to have happen. So um, probably just a, a mindset change that I need to make. All right, Jake, get ready. Race the regime at the end of this lap. A double file here. We'll be uh, restarting on 18, so we'll have 23 to go, just under halfway. Let's see if inside line gets any better of a start. Um, I don't know if that was the 13's fault or, or what happened. Looks like third place uh, is kind of laying back. Looks like he's tightening up now, so I'm going to try to do the best that we can to get a little bit of a better restart, see if we can... Uh, not, not fall as far back, but I'm assuming we'll see the eight, the eight T L the outside go uh, fairly aggressive. Not sure if the eight, or the eight's gonna try to dive. You know, start high, and as soon as he crosses the start finish line, dive low, or what's gonna happen? So we're just gonna keep our eyes as open as we can with our limited view and uh, try to make the best best decision we can, and hope we come out of it clean on the other side without losing too many spots. Trying to race as clean as I can without, you know, running in the back for just strict safety rating. Still trying to build both safety and I rating at the same time. Green flag, we're racing. Another really late restart. Outside. Trying to get to the 22 inside. Keep it steady. Outside is clear. Get a wreck, we make contact Outside. with them. Unfortunately, sent him around, so there goes the zero X. That was kind of on me, um, but I don't know. He kind of came down to, to block. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Pace car is out. Line up single. Probably gonna get Line angry, but 22. Um, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> somebody's saying they're gonna report somebody. Cool. I I don't know what you're going to report for, but no problem. Uh, if you're going to report me, go for it. It was an accident. It was definitely not intentional at all. So I feel really bad. It was not how I wanted to get by somebody, but I don't know. Completely my fault. Um, it's are open. I'll take the, I'll take the blame for it. Um, yeah. I, I will definitely take the plane for that one. But, you know, I tried to try to get to the inside. Thought I had a better restart across the start finish line. Thought I had a better run than the 22. Tried to get inside. It kind of came down. So, 100% my fault. Um, hopefully, we didn't get too much damage out of it. We should if we can run the rest of the race clean. But the forex should still be able to at least break even. An I rating, if not, or not I rating, excuse me, safety rating. Um, if not, not gain a little bit. So. Lost quite a bit from the last race, but, you know, just going to try to uh, grind as much of a backup as we can. Uh, try to get back to... Goal is just to try to get back to where we were at the start of, this, of the season. Uh, just hitting that right now will feel like a win. And then from there, try to, you know, work our way up. Doubt I'll be able to get back to the uh, overall goal that I had set for myself. Um... Yeah, I don't know. But sitting in 10th was not the way I wanted to get the spot, but, you know, take what we can get. Sorry for causing that caution. Feel bad for everybody for literally doing that on the restart, but I don't know. I guess it is what it is. Can't do much now. I've made the mistake. We're going to try to uh, correct it, make sure we don't do it again. Run a lot cleaner the rest of the way. Of course, yellow. It's a rope. <laughs> 
cool. Getting yelled at, that's that's always a blast. I, I love when people want to yell about stuff like that. I get the frustration, but, you know... Childish things like that don't ever make sense. 8 looks like he's going into pits. My guess is he's going to be taking his last set of tires, hoping that we are going to go green the rest of the way and he will have some sort of advantage on the end. We really haven't even run all that many laps, so We're under caution. I don't know. It's Maybe closed. there's merit to that, but I feel like that's a fairly aggressive strategy, although he has proven to be an incredibly aggressive driver and will make whatever moves necessary to make it pay off, so... This is back on the inside again, up in ninth. Um, gonna be restarting behind the 13, so let's try to do the best that we can. But yeah, you're gonna get people that get angry um, over stuff you do, even when you, you know, legitimately make a mistake. I mean, I obviously can't go back and fix it now. Um, I can fix it going forward, but I can't. I can't change what I did, you know, a few laps ago. Feel bad about that, but I, I just don't understand why people send messages like that, that's why I mute my chat, I, I don't want to hear any of that stuff, it doesn't do anything for me, it just makes, it just makes it less fun, and at the end of the day, I'm not making, not making money from this, not making a living from this, so it's, it's all for fun and enjoyment for the most part, I'm crazy competitive and want to be the ultimate, you know, that I can be in it, but at the end of the day, it's still just for fun, um, so... I wouldn't send somebody a message like that. I don't understand the point to, to sending messages like that. It doesn't. I don't know. My hope is that anybody that watches me nice would uh, this lap. do the same thing as well and, and, you know, refrain from anything like that. It just doesn't doesn't really accomplish anything. It's not needed. So, I got off my podium now. It was just my thought on that, it's frustrating when it gets directed at me or signed at me, even if it's, you know, deserved in one sense, it's still frustrating. So, gonna get started on 23, we will have 18 to go, plenty of time left, uh, still probably really some time to save tires for a little while, and then, uh, you know, the last five laps or so, try to, try to use up whatever tire left, tire we have left, and, and make as many moves as we can, um, obviously only few spots left to try to get to uh, to a top five if we can. Not sure if we even have the pace to come remotely close to these guys, but we're going to try to do the best that we can. And uh, nothing else, try to keep ourselves inside the top ten if we can. So, looks like the uh, 21's laying pretty far back on the outside. Not sure if he's trying to get a run or what's going on. Um, so I'm just going to watch out for that, try to get a little better of a restart if we can. Everybody's trying to anticipate where the leader's going. He's kind of waiting until the last minute if we get a terrible restart. Everybody on the outside going by us. All that go, stop, go, stop kind of just created an accordion and threw us way back, so. Um, 19 was able to get by us on the outside. We've got a little bit of a hold back to the 15 and the 17 behind. It easily tightened up. Like I said, I'm still going to kind of ease the truck through for you know another 10 laps. 10, 10 to 13 laps or so, and uh, try to save a little bit of tire. So, 19's got some rear end damage. Not sure if he's got front end damage, so it's possible we can still try to get by him. We're trying to work to his inside through one and two. We're try to follow the 13. Having to start a little bit lower is going to pinch the entry, but we'll see if we can clear him. He'll get the run off the corner, of course, but maybe with the damage we can try to get by him. Get ourselves back into the ninth. Look at the run on the outsides. You know, not the side-by-side -side battle that I really wanted. I really wanted to try to get away from him be able to uh, just run single file and try to work our way back up. Finally able to clear them this time through three and four, so just going to do the best that we can, see if we can try to get back to the bumper of the 13. Still again kind of running it conservative. I feel like the trucks in front are definitely pushing harder, but you know, just 
trying to run it as easy as I can to, to save tires and have a little bit in case we go green the rest of the way. At least have a shot, you know, at, if they start falling off and we can pick up a few spots and get closer to a top five. Slowly working our way back to the 13th. We've got trucks kind of going everywhere. Good battle for the lead up front. This is exactly what we need. Just keep an eye out, see if any contact happens up front. Any wreck kind of happens. We can avoid, but still just trying to take it as easy as we can. Probably shouldn't be pushing harder on the tires, but I don't know. I feel like this might be decent strategy. You're going to try to get to the inside of the 13, see if we can get by him. Fastest laps are still pretty slow compared to the leaders, but you see, there comes the 8. Mr. 3 wide, no problem with the room for it. Tires definitely seem to be uh, paying off for him, so I have to watch out for him, try to defend. He's going to go way inside on us, so we have to make sure that we don't give him any room if we want to hold him off. Got a wreck up front. We're going to try to get low 11 into the wall. No caution out yet. That helps us pick up quite a few spots, but just in sixth, I believe. There's the caution. 20's got some damage in front as well. Not sure if he's going to pit for that. Um, I don't know with how fast the A came up. I know he's crazy aggressive. I could see the, the merit of him trying to pit now for the last set of tires. Didn't see what happened to, to cause the wreck, but we were able to, to stay low enough to avoid it. So, um, yeah, gives us the benefit of getting closer to the top five. Kind of hoping if everybody's going to come and use the last set of tires that... Uh, That'll hurt the eight, considering he won't have anything, and we'll be able to go fresh and try to try to all work by him if we can. Full course yellow, pits are open. Looks like he's got an extra set somehow. I thought he pitted. Maybe he stayed out. If he did, it's going to work out well for him. Let's see what everybody does. Looks like the eights. Gearing up to go on the pit road again. And everybody's doing exactly what I thought they would. Pitting. Eight comes flying out. Probably could have taken our rear end Box off with the way. He chose to feet. not come to pit road. I didn't think he had sets of tires left, so my guess is that's what that's all about. 300 feet. 100 feet. He's gonna try to have the best pit stop that we can. Using our last set of tires, hopefully we can come out somewhere near where we were. You know, 7th, 8th, something like that, only lose a spot if possible. Man, we almost got busted for speeding. Hopefully we were able to get back under in time. see where we sort out now after this. Looks like we could be potentially 7th or 8th. Should be where I was hoping to be, but we'll see how it all shakes out. 8's going to be up front, but we will be on a little bit of fresher tires than him. So it's possible it could work out. And we can try to get on by him. We will have a definite Sorry, dash to the finish and now it's all about going as hard as you can there is no tire conservation at this point so it's just uh, trying to run the truck as fast as possibly can yeah it looks like we should be 8th now uh, so lost two spots or lost a spot on pit road 8 was the other spot that we lost oh it's actually got us in 7th okay miscounted um Oh, we got a lap, lap truck out there. It looks like that's where I was miscounting. Two to go. Um, getting restart on 34. Well, seven to go. It'll be. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. We'll see how aggressive the uh, 
eight is up front. We got the 16 with thought got into the wall at one point. Could be wrong about that. Um, he's got some. If that was the one that I thought he's got damage up front as well, but could have also been a different race. Uh, <laughs> races and weeks we like to start and board together now. So yeah, gonna try to do the best we can. See if we can. Uh, try to keep it clean, try to uh, pick up a couple spots, at least have a shot at that top five, click off uh, two out of the out of the four goals. Um, not sure if we'll be able to even remotely come close to finishing second. Um, I highly doubt it, given that we're going to be restarting seventh, but side-by-side -side racing happens, three wide happens, wrecks happen, we avoid it, you never know, it is possible. Okay, Jake, um, get ready, race the regime at the end of this lap. Most likely we get another caution and you're looking at a green-white checker, so... If a wreck happens and it takes out enough trucks in front of us, the key will be to get out of that without any damage um, or any faults of it. That way we can try to move up as far as possible with it, but not counting on that. Just going to try to uh, go out and run the hardest that we can, see if we have any pace for anybody up front here and try to pick up spots while not taking any crazy unnecessary risks either. It's definitely been uh, an interesting race for sure. Uh, restarts have been interesting. Some of the checking up and accordion effect happening. Eight's been crazy aggressive. Had the issue with the 22 that we caused. Um, yeah, I don't know. Gonna get ready to restart here. Just gonna see what the eights can do. Not sure what he's thinking timing wise. Like you basically waited for the green flag. Outside, Outside gets a little bit of a better start. Steady. 20 was pulling Clear even outside. with us. 21 was able to pull ahead, which should have been ahead, but yeah, just gonna, gonna go for it now. Um, not sure what the fastest line is for that, what we need to do. Try to work to the 21s inside if we can. We've got the 16 kind of falling back as well. We're going to try to get by both of them if we can. Seems like outside line starting to get preferred a little bit, but let's see what we can do. we got the 23 right in front of us. He's running inside line. Try to do the best that we can, see if we can get by him. We've got the 10 trucks spinning. Able to avoid him. Wow, that was really close. Had to check up for him. Had nowhere to go. Got trucks coming everywhere. Everybody on the last lap's trying to get there. Oh, 12 just absolutely obliterates trucks behind. I think that was the 15 he got into. I don't know, but that was just absolutely crazy. That puts us in uh, fifth as well. So, um, looking most likely to green white checker at this point. I have no idea what happened there. I mean, you had. With everybody checking up uh, for the wreck that happened off of two, you had trucks flying in and the 12 just did not make it stick at all. Um, really, really fortunate that we did not get involved in that wreck. I was trying to figure out which way he was going and by the time I decided to hit the brakes, he was coming across in those and I was just praying that I wasn't going to get wasn't gonna get into him. Thankfully, we were able to avoid him. So um, he's still sitting real pretty in the lead. Looks like you know those tires and his aggressive driving were well, the right call for now. Um, I think we're definitely faster than the 16. So, um, you know, if we if we get the right restart, um, it's possible that we could pull off a fourth. Honestly, I felt like we were faster than 23 as well. Uh, don't know if we have anything for the 14 or the 8, but I, I feel like depending on the restart and what the one does on our outside, um, we've got the we've definitely got the possibility to. Uh, you know, come away with the top three or uh, top four out of it um, if we can if we can get the restart timed correctly. Only gonna have two laps though. We're definitely gonna be green white checker. Only two laps to uh, try to make it happen. So gonna stay low. We got the four trying to go by for Lucky Dog. He gets by on the high side. It's definitely gonna be an interesting dead. That is for sure. Would not be shocked if we get wrecked from behind either. Just gonna hope that doesn't happen and uh, try to do the best that we can.
I don't know if they count. You'll have to let me know if uh, when you go green white checker if the extra laps will count towards safety reading. Um, or if they still only count, you know, 40, 40 laps or whatever the scheduled distance is. Because uh, if they count, then got the possibility uh, to pick up a few more laps that could help out uh, safety rating. Either try to gain us a little more if we're back into the positive or try to uh, get closer to break even or mitigate the loss from the 4X that we had earlier in the race. Um, let's see what happens. We're giving us two to go, so they're literally giving us a one lap dash to the finish. Wow, that's rough. Um, wow. Okay, so that's even worse than a green white checkered because then the race will just end. Holy crap. Didn't think I'd see that out of iRacing, but okay. Uh, that's going to make it really bad on us because our restarts always are terrible and we get we get toast on the restarts um, in one lap. It's usually that second lap is, is when we can start making time back up and try to get back to trucks. So, yeah, I'm going to see what we can do with it. Um, I guess if we're really only getting one lap, uh, we're just going to have to make the most of it. Try to try to stay as much glued to the back of the 23 other restart as I possibly can. Try to see if we can uh, work our way into, into turn one as quickly as possible. Did not think I would see that happening. Thought we would for sure see a green white checker. Don't understand why I racing's not calling that. Because we shouldn't be anywhere near the time limit. I mean, this race has had cautions, but I don't think the race has been that long from a time standpoint. At the very least, would just like to maintain fit so I can come out with the top five. Feel a little bit better out of the finish. We're going green next time. And by. there's the green-white checker. Okay, so they extended it. Good. So we got our hope back that maybe if we get a decent restart, we can uh, try to close out and uh, see if we get uh, a top three or a top four. Try to pick up a spot or two. Like I said, my my only two trucks that I think I can buy are the 16. And uh, the 23, don't really think I have anything for the 8. He'll be crazy aggressive even if we got there. And I have not honestly gotten to see the 14. I think he's been up front the whole time. So my guess is we probably don't have anything for him either. But coming down the back stretch, last lap. We start on 40 with our green-white checker. Only attempt at it. So hopefully we can finish this under green and see if we can gain any spots out of it. One row up ahead, hopefully be able to time the restart the 8 a little bit better. Hopefully 23 is not going to lay too far back, although probably lay just a little bit further back than I might in a short track like model or something like that, just so I can have a little bit better visibility. And later jumps earlier than I thought, that's going to hurt us. Able to at least clear the one, he's going to probably try to look to our inside. Still cannot get these restarts down. Just going to try to do the best that we can. Going to feather the throttle just for a hair to make sure I have the truck settled. Going to try to work to the 16's inside. Hopefully the 23 goes high. Don't think I'm going to be able to get to his inside going into 3 and 4. So we're going to sit behind him most likely. Let's see if we can try to clear the 16. Like I said I felt like I was faster than him. 14's blinking on the inside, we're going to watch that. He actually makes a good move to get by the 8. And got on the throttle in the wrong way. Going to slide up the corner, thankfully able to prevent the 16 from getting by us. Just waiting to see if anybody's going to wreck up front. If we're going to go 3 wide or if they're going to be all pretty conservative. 23 has issues. Let's see if we can work to his inside. He's going to get the run off the corner dives down right in front of us and we're likely going to finish fourth which is where we did and we get a 4x out of it because yeah not sure who came down and got us let's uh take a look and see unfortunately that's going to suck if that's what ended up happening but uh i think it might have been the 14 that came down into us but yeah we finished fourth Trying to slow down, and I don't know. My fault for coming up into the, the 14, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know.
You can see the 8 got the 1 only by 7 thousandths of a second over the 14. And then uh, we're about 2 tenths back of that. So let's take a look at the issue with the 22. Um, this was the restart where we decided to go low. So we'll rewind it a little bit and take a look. Let's see what happens here. Trying to get the best restart we can. Looks like he was a little slow on it, so followed him, get to the start finish line, try to look low. I, I don't know. I mean should have never stuck it below the white line, honestly, but he seems really slow. And uh you can see I'm holding the white line and he actually comes down into me, so in a way I guess it's not really my fault, but obviously that's just not a situation I should have stuck myself in, and then that caused the wreck for the rest of it. However, I mean, it's it's hard to say that the 22 is blameless in this either, because we were kind of at the point where you should start coming up off of the white line to come to the corner, and you can see I'm I'm literally holding the white line all the way, and he comes down into us, so... Hard to say that way. You can leave comments. Let me know either way. Again, I, I know that was probably way too aggressive at, at lap 18. I was just talking about guys running aggressive even before that, the 8. But um, let me know what you think of that one. If it was completely on me or if that was you know on the 22 as well. Uh, go take a look at the results. See what happened. Hopefully that forest didn't count. Although, unfortunately, I think that forest at the end is going to count, which would kill everything we had gained uh, back on the safety rating. So... Uh, pretty weak strength of field. You can see third split, 1901 overall. Um, about a tenth and a half off fast lap. Um, wanted to try to run a little bit faster. That unfortunately did count. So you can see that dropped us 0 0.06 when we might have been able to keep, uh, you know, getting 0 0.06 or something like that. Able to gain 62 high rating, so um, just over 2100. Trying to work our way back up to uh, just under 24 where I started the season at. See if I can. Um, but yeah, uh, finally, at least able to get a top five out of it. Um, checked two of the goals off out of the four. Um, I don't know. I, that that 4X at the end hurt, but you know, not much I can do. When trucks are coming together, probably should have just stayed low and jumped on the brakes to slow down. So try to be a little more careful coming off of it, but didn't think guys were going to fly all over either. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that race. Definitely was not short of action. Um, Feel free to leave any comments, any feedback, anything you got in mind about it. And uh, remember to like and subscribe. So until the next one, hopefully all your laps are fast, your races are clean, and your finishes are good. Thanks for watching.